Jocelyn Pook's highly atmospheric music bridges the gap between pop music and the concert hall. Her multifaceted activities also embrace opera, theatre and film. Her numerous awards and audience popularity attest to the immediacy of her work. It's been a gradual thing, but uh, as a child I did compose a bit, you know, like, I mean, you know, in a very sort of simple way. But, you know, I was really interested and, and then I didn't have that kind of confidence to just think that that would be what I did. This piece, Wonderland, contemplates Himalayan wonders. It was originally for David Brashear's documentary, Remnants of Everest, the 1996 tragedy. What I instantly get from this is your skill with creating an atmosphere, right, which right. you do uh, so effectively. Just completely because the way these people were talking about it, even though yes. they'd been in that terrible yes. tragedy, actually yes. that terrible yes. storm, and, yes. and some of their party died, you you get to know them quite well, and then suddenly they lift up their hand, and there's no fingers. Her film career took off in 1999 with the Golden Globe nomination for her score for Stanley Kubrick's Eyes Wide Shut. She has worked with Peter Gabriel, DV8, and Massive Attack. Award-winning collaborations include the National Theatre's 2008 production of St. Joan and Akram Khan's dance production, Desh. She collaborated again with Akram Khan in the English National Ballet production of Lest We Forget, which received its premiere at the Barbican Theatre London in 2014. One of my starting points for this was this recording I had, music from the Great War. On that CD is a recording of a, a soldier who was back on leave. It was recorded in 1914, and he's talking about the how the you know how um, life out there and how hard it is really. And and um, but what used to back us up was singing. as it were, disappear into the world of music mm. because it was a more satisfactory world for me and it may be that the, that the sort of emotional stuff was manageable um, whereas the big wide world is so unmanageable mm. and mm. He hence I became a performer, you know, mm. that does mm. something about communicating through the language of music. I come from quite a, a, a difficult background, you know, and in terms of the family and, mm. and um, and, and and not just the yeah, not having had a father, all the mm. sorts of stuff yes. you can you yes. can um, associate having with having it. had a, a tragedy in the family, which we did, you know, mm. it's, uh, with my sister dying. I always remember my teacher at Guildhall saying, "There's no point in you playing unless you feel you you're the best and you're you've got something else to say that nobody else has got to say." As a composer, I just feel I've got my own voice. <laughs> 